that game Jenga where you like you have all the pieces stacked on top of one another and if you pull the wrong piece out the whole thing just collapses my day today is like Jenga everything's piled on top of one another and if I screw it up the whole thing's gonna collapse you like this visor <laughs> It's called, uh, it's called a Super 73. It looks like also a beach bike. Yeah, with the wide tire. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Jenga. Doesn't this kind of look like a Jenga tower? So I'm heading into now a quick meeting at 368 about 368 Gaming. Remember a few weeks ago I did an open call for applicants to sort of head up 368 Gaming? I had 8,000 responses, but I think I found my favorite. We, uh, this was yesterday. It was 8,000. 8,000. Of the 8,000, 8, all of which we've been through. There was one application in particular. You haven't seen this. No. Look through here. Yo, Bri. Genius, That's right? genius, Genius. Dude. I want to meet Andrew. We Can will I meet him. his name? Yeah, we're, gonna get, we're connecting with this guy. So dirty. I often say like if the best you can come up with for a job application to impress someone is an email, you're never going to get the position. Look what this guy did. Andrew, I appreciate you and your creativity. Now, now I'm heading out to Brooklyn for uh, like another get together. This is what I'm actually very excited about. I haven't actually talked about it in the vlog yet, but I'm actually starting another, it's small right now, it's like, but I'm starting another like technology company, tech endeavor. There's just something about software development that's so exciting. I've really missed it since Beam, so this is a meeting about that, but more on that later. Hope everyone's okay. Three things. Three things have been on my mind all day. They've really been occupying me. So here goes. Number one, very, very, very good news. I am typically not an emotional person, but this news makes me want to cry a little bit. Um, I found this out last night. For the first time in my whole life, um, I am now an uncle. Yesterday, there was a new addition to the Neistat brood, um, a beautiful, healthy baby, and everyone's doing great and it's very exciting. That's been like this little dopamine thing in my brain all day that's just like happiness, happiness, happiness. Number two, and I don't know how to feel about this, I guess I'm like, okay. I shared with you like a week ago or two weeks ago about my grandmother passing away, which is really just sad and a, a real bummer, but this weekend, instead of a regular traditional funeral, the entire family, the extended family is getting together um, up in New England, like six hours from New York City. I feel okay about it because while it's very sad, it, her not being here is very sad and her passing away is very sad, but the act of celebrating it as a big family is very positive and I do feel good about that. So that's number three, this is just straight up bad. Very bad news. Um, last night Dan was in a pretty bad accident He's, he's, he's fine, um, not life-threatening, and he broke his shoulder. I've spoken to him, he called me last night to tell me even though he can't move his arms, he still wants to smack it. I don't know what that means. So he's okay, but it's still bad. He was hurt. Hi. Hi. I'm not gonna be uploading tomorrow. I've had a crash. Dan. I told you not to ride my skateboards when it rains out because you're gonna break them and because it's dangerous. And you fell off my skateboard and you broke yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. I heard 
you weren't feeling well. Thank you, my sir. How are you doing, man? I'm okay, bro. Are you on pain pills right now? Yeah. <laughs> you look terrible. Do I? Yes. I f I'm trying to make myself look nice. Gabs, what? Are you taking care of him? <laughs> trying to. <laughs> this poor guy. Tell me what happened, buddy. Rude was hectic. So, I said goodbye to you, <laughs> and you were like, you're like, watch out on that boosted board. That's, and I was, that's not what I said. What did you say? I said, don't ride my boosted board in the <laughs> rain. That's exactly what I said. And then, and then I was like, I was thinking like, um, how many times have I done this, you know? <laughs> and I was going along and then I, I was pushing it full force. Like, I was just headed home, you know? It was pouring rain, like thunderstorm. Okay, continue. And I, I was heading in the bike lane and then this black car just pulled out of nowhere. It just like, it just came yeah. out into the bike lane and then I slammed on brakes, but obviously like it was wet. So, but like I slammed on brakes, so it like, it, um, it was sliding towards the car and I was thinking like, oh my, I'm gonna hit into the car. So I tried to jump out of the way of the car, but then I slipped and I went and I was heading for its wheel. And then I pushed my, arm up against the side and that's what it, when it snapped and then the car just like drove off and then uh, somebody else called the ambulance yeah there was lots of people standing around yeah then i was in the hospital most of last night and um so now i have to wait because obviously if if i need an operation then i'm gonna have to go back to south africa feel better dan thank you my sir thank you. i'm and so thank sorry you flowers, of course i'm so sorry you're hurt dude I, so it happens to the base of us. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hey. What's up, bro? Molo booty. Who can it, oh? I just said hello in, in three different languages. That's English, Kosa, and Afrikaans. Welcome to my home. This is where I live. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I'm smacking it with one arm currently. Uh, the injury didn't just hurt my shoulder, it also hurt my feelings, so I flew to South Africa to get a hug from my mom, <laughs> pretty much. But I'll be back in New York City in the next few days, and I'll be back on my booster board and cruising with you very soon, my sir. I miss you so much, homie. For realsies, dog. Peace. <laughs>